Uh, welcome to our session today. I am your instructor, CPA Aringo Frederick. And today's class, we are going to look at a public finance and taxation. This is section two. And our area of concern, I'll want us to talk about capital allowances. And the question that you are going to handle, this is a question which was tested in May 2021, question number 4B. I know the students who did this question, and by good luck they had attended our classes for last semester. I know they are just smiling right now. And also for those uh, of you whom uh, you are watching this on YouTube, and I believe you've been watching uh, our videos on YouTube, more so when we were looking at the new rates for capital allowances. I know you also be smiling, I know you're also smiling, I know you're also smiling, because this concept, we did it in January, and Mualimu elaborated that concept very clearly. And in your exams, you found that it was the same concept that we did. You just have to smile, right? You just have to smile, you just have to smile. So the question that I want us to handle today, which will open our mind very wide, because it is the first question to be examined under the new rates, meaning that we are lucky. We are lucky you're watching this. You are lucky you're watching this. So let us go direct to this question. May 2021, question number four, part B. May 2021. Question number four, part B. So I'm going to share this question in our screens. We use this question to analyze the concept of double tax, uh, the concept of uh, capital allowance, the concept of capital allowance. And my good students, this is our question now. This is our question. Kindly you can take a screenshot of that question so that when Mwalimu is going through it, uh, at least you should be having it on paper. So, this is what we are told. <coughs> we are told in this question of ours, we are told in this question of ours that, believing that we've taken a screenshot, we are told that uh, Plasticom Limited is a company established in year 2020 to manufacture plastic products. Before commencing its operations on May 2020, the company incurred a total of 8760000 in construction of a factory building, which included, number one, go down, that is an IBD item, showroom, administration offices. And what were we told? These costs were included in the cost of the factory building. My good students, anytime you've seen a cost of showroom, a cost of admin block, a cost of a retail shop and a cost of a caretaker's building place included in the factory building. The first thing that should click at the back of your mind is the concept of 10% test. Is a concept of 10% test. That is very key. So in our case, you can see in the cost of the factory building, I'm having an IBD item. At the same time, I'm having the non-qualifying items, right? Additional information number one, we are told, the following assets were constructed or purchased and utilized with effect from 1st July 2020. And always remember when you are dealing with capital allowances more so for IBD, kindly always have Mr. Date at the back of your mind anytime you are handling IBD. Water pump. Water pump, this is an ID item, 50% year one, uh, subsequent years 25%, reducing balance. Labor quarters, this is an IBD item. Processing machinery, this is an ID item. Tractor, this is a WTA class 1. Scanners, WTA class 2. Two saloon cars, saloon car is a non-commercial vehicle under class 3, under WTA. But remember saloon car, it will have that concept of restricted value. And the current amount for restricted value of non-commercial vehicle, it has been capped to 3 million. So kindly have that in mind. I'm having mobile forklift. 
forklift is a WTA item class 1, computers WTA class 2, power transformer. At this point now it's upon you to reason practically. It's upon you to reason practically. So what will transformer do? Transformer ideally it will generate power to be used to be used where you are dealing with manufacturing so you are going to assume that it's going to be used of course in manufacturing and also running other operations of the business so the ideal place that you can place power transformer is under id under id under id office cabinets you know very well that is a dustbin class because this is a wta class 4 Boilers, you know very well that boilers ideally is an ID item, right? Boilers is an ID item. Bridge, anytime you use, anytime probably you've seen a bridge, bridge will always fall under IBD. Bridge will always fall under IBD. <coughs> Not sure, we are told that the following costs were incurred by the company on 1st September 2020. Sinking a borehole. We know very well that borehole is an ID item. Construction of a parking bay, if it is constructed within the uh, factory premises also is going to be taken as an IB uh, talk of uh, ID item. Note number three, note number three, clearly you can see what I was given in note number three. It will go through together in note three. We were told that uh, one of the computers traded in on 10th November 2020 for an E1 costing 68,000. The trading value was 40,000. The balance was settled in cash. So ideally, you are looking at a form whereby I'm having disposal and we do have what purchase at at the same time. Note 4, the company constructed a sports pavilion. Sports pavilion, that is an IBD item and additional staff quarters. Staff quarters is also an IBD item during the year at the cost of 890 and 1.2 respectively. These structures were utilized from 1st October 2020. Required. Investment allowances due to Plasticom Limited for the year ended at 1st December 2020. That is what you are given. And I believe, my good students, you've taken a screenshot of this question. You've taken a screenshot of this question. You've taken a screenshot of that question. So given such, what you should do is just to smile. Because after you've done that analysis and I told you guys that any time you've seen such a question, the first thing that you need to do is to do an analysis of that question. So you've done that analysis of that question. The question will be, where are you going to start from? That will be the most important question. Where are you going to start from? At this point, you're going to start with ID, investment deduction. We are going to start with ID. And for ID, always have in mind the concept what if you have the 10 percent test like in our case we had that concept right so that should take us to working number one id i want us to look at working number one and working number one it will give us what 10 percent test i need to conduct the 10 percent test ideally a person will ask mwalimu why or what is 10 percent test and that's why i normally tend to uh, insist that anytime you are dealing with this Unis, more so CPA. It's upon us to grasp because, my good student, it's not all about passing exams. It's all about the concept. If you master the concept right and finance or taxation, this is a practical unit. So that's why I'll always insist on the concept. Why are we doing the 10% test? We are doing the 10% test to ascertain the level of materiality of these non qualifying items to the cost of the factory building. So that in the event that I've realized that the non qualifying items are more than 10% test, meaning that in that case, I have to deduct them. And why are we deducting them? Because remember, capital allowance will reduce our taxable income. And if it is going to reduce our taxable income, also the tax payable will also reduce. The government wants to collect as much revenue as it can. So that's why they capped some cost of particular items. In that, if these costs are more than a certain amount or more than a certain percentage, 
you are not supposed to you are not supposed to claim them for capital allowances and that is the essence why we normally tend to deduct the non qualifying items non qualifying items will include the following if they are included in the factory building. We are terming them as non-qualifying items if only they are included in the factory building. And these are the following. We normally tend to talk about showroom. We normally tend to talk about administration block. We normally tend to talk about retail shop. And we normally tend to talk about the caretaker's dwelling place. If these items are included in the factory building, they are going to be termed as non-qualifying items. But if they are given separate, they are going to qualify for IDD. So in this case, we need to conduct that 10% test to establish if the cost of these non-qualifying items are more or less than 10% of the entire cost of the factory building. And this is what you are going to do. We have to determine the factory building cost so talk of the cost of the factory building cost of a factory building the cost of the factory building my good student you can clearly see we have eight million seven hundred and sixty thousand we have eight million seven hundred and sixty thousand this is our cost of the factory building then identify the non-qualifying items my good students you have non-qualifying items so talk about non qualifying items non qualifying items non qualifying items for non qualifying items like in our question we can clearly see i was given the following i was given a showroom we were given a showroom so i need to write here our showroom and what was the cost of the showroom the cost of the showroom here you can clearly see i was given a figure of 240000 regardless of when we started using that then I'm having admin offices, administration offices. So can it allow me to have admin offices? In this case, you are given a figure of 680,000. 680,000. So what will be the total cost, my good students? What will be the total cost? The total cost, you can clearly see we have to 40 plus 680, which will give us 920,000. So determining the 10% test, 920 of 8760 times 100, this should give us what percentage? 920 divided by 8760, that should give us 10.5%. So I'm having 10.5%. Meaning that if it is 10.5%, it is more than the 10% of the entire cost of the factory building. And if it is more than the 10%, we are supposed to deduct. So I'm going to deduct 920,000. Deducting 920,000, what will we have? That should give us, that should give us uh, 8,760 minus 920 to give us a figure of 7,840,000. ,000. So we do have 7 million, we do have uh, 7 million 840,000. We do have uh, seven million eight hundred and forty thousand. Seven million eight hundred and forty thousand. But remember, this is not the qualifying cost. It is not the qualifying cost because on the same on the same factory building, I'm having an IBD item. So talk of IBD item. IBD item, the one that I'm given here, I was given an IBD item, which in this case, uh, we can clearly see we had what? A go down. We had a go down, which is an IBD item, so I need to deduct it. And in this case, you are given a go down of how much? 320,000. So, what will be our qualifying cost for factory building? My qualifying cost, therefore, we should be having a qualifying cost for the factory building. My qualifying cost for the factory building we should be talking of 7,840 minus 320 to give me a figure of how much? 7,520,000. 7,520,000. 
that should be our figure for qualifying cost of the factory building qualifying cost of the factory building because that is the area that we needed uh, this working so directly that should take us to what computation of id do you recall the format of id so format for id we should be talking of nature of the asset so talk of our nature of the asset i believe uh, still you can see the board nature of the asset nature of the asset correct we have the nature of the asset here in this case i should be talking of the qualifying cost qualifying cost we are going to talk about balance brought down talk about id and remember first year id is at the rate of 50 percent so i'm having 50 percent we do have a balance carry down balance carry down so we start with the nature of the asset the first one you've seen we have factory building and for factory building my good student you can clearly see we've said that we have the qualifying cost to be seven million five hundred and twenty thousand seven million five hundred and twenty thousand we didn't have our balance carried down we didn't have our balance carried down and therefore what will be our id our id we should be talking of uh times 50 percent to give us 37 3, 3 million 760 000 right balance carried down 3 million 760 000. so we are done with that part identifying other items that qualified for id we can clearly see we had water pump so i'm having water pump here we have water pump for water pump we can clearly see i was given a figure of that was additional information one five hundred and forty thousand. actually first of all let me just list all of them we have processing machinery so talk of processing machinery talk of processing machinery at this point processing machinery i was given a figure of 2.6 we've said we are listing all of them first i'm having uh we have uh after processing machinery we have uh what come and identify what we have come and identify another item that we have scanners no salon car no mobile power transformer so I'm having power transformer, power transformer, power transformer, power transformer. I'm given a figure of how much? 820,000. So take 820,000. I'm having boilers. We have boilers. ID item. Boilers, I'm given a figure of uh, 960,000. 960,000. I'm also given what? Note 2. We have a uh, borehole. Correct. We have borehole. So, borehole. For borehole, I'm given a borehole, a figure of how much, my good student. We are given 720,000. Uh huh. Then the last component I'm given here was what? Parking bay. So talk of parking bay, parking bay, parking bay. I'm given a figure of how much? I'm given a figure of 630,000, 630,000. I believe my board is still visible. Uh -huh. So given such, given such, my good students, given such, now let us compute our ID. Let us compute our ID quickly. So just a moment here. Correct. So computing our ID, computing our ID, what are we going to do in computing our ID? That will be simple. It's as if I'm doing all this by half, right? It's as if I'm dividing all this by half. It's as if you're dividing all this by half. So therefore, we are going to take the following. The first case on water pump. We are going to have 540,000. 
divide by 2 that is the same as we are saying by 50 percent so we have to 70,000 so we are talking of 270,000 270,000 that means that our balance carried down will also be 270,000 processing machinery talk of 2.6 divide by 2 I'm having 1.3 so we have 1.3 that means that also balance carried down will be 1.3 because it is 50, 50, right? Power transformer at 20. We divide by 2. That should give us 410,000. That should give us 410,000. 410,000. Then we have 960. We divide by 2. That should give us 480,000. 480,000. 480,000, right? Then borehole 720. We divide by 2. To give us 360,000, to give us 360,000, 360,000, correct? Then the last one you have 630, we divide by 2 to give us 315,000, 315,000, 315,000. Probably a person will wonder why is Molimo dividing this by 2. I am dividing by 2 simply because by the virtue that you're talking about 50%. So it's just kind of we are dividing all this by two, right? So that as at the end of the day, as at the end of the day, my good students, what will you be having? What will you be having in this case? We sum up all this to determine our total ID. We are going to sum up all that, right? Where to start quickly, we should be talking of 3,760. We add to 70,000. We add 1.3. We add 410, we add 480, we add 360, we add 315. I believe Molimo has taken everything. So, talk of uh, 3760 to 70, 1.3, 410, 480, 360, and 315. So, I'm having a figure of 6,800,000. 95,000 and remember the beauty part with this ideally they are going to mark your entries so don't worry if you missed a certain figure they are going to mark the entries they are going to mark the entries so in this case you are done with ID this was a 2020 right and they had requested us to do for 2020 the next element we proceed to IBD commonly known as Mr. Date so talk of I, B, D. And in this case, you're timing it as Mr. Date. And I know you know the reason why you're timing that as Mr. Date. Because at this point, date will always be very important. Date will always affect us. Anytime you are looking at this case, date will always affect us. So after we do have that, considering the format, again, talk of the nature of the building. Nature of the building nature of the building, qualifying cost, talk about balance brought down, IBD, and IBD, remember, at this point, you're talking of a flat rate of 10%, reducing balance, regardless of if it is commercial building or non-commercial building. Then, talk about the aspect of balance carried down. So this is what you do have, this is what you do have. So we start again. The same procedure applies. Identify what we have. I believe, guys, you've taken a screenshot of this paper. Because I'd uh, given this paper as you're analyzing, we had it uh, on a start. So I believe you are just perusing what you've done. Because I believe you've uh, taken a screenshot of that question. So, identifying the items for IBD, first of all, I'm going to start with what? I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the go down here. For go down, I was given a figure of how much for go down. For go down, my good students, as you can clearly see, I was given a figure of 320,000. So, first of all, let me list all of them. 320,000. A person will ask, Molim, why are you not taking showroom and admin block? And the reason why you will not take showroom and admin block, it is because if they were considered for T2, 
10% test. And by bad luck, probably they were more than 10%. They will not be considered for any other capital allowance. They will not be considered for any other capital allowance if they were more than 10%. If you provide that 10%, that would be the only component that you're going to treat them. But you're not going to provide the capital allowances again. And that's why we will not take this item here. We will not take these items here as uh, IBD items, as IBD items. But remember, if they were given separate, you will have taken them as, as IBD items, as IBD items. So after we do have that case clearly, we can see that we can proceed after go down and always be very keen with the date factor. Always be very keen with the date factor. So after we have our go down, we can proceed to labor quarters. We can proceed to labor quarters. I'm having labor quarters here. And labor quarters we are given Labor quarters was given at figure of 920,000. Proceed to, uh, we've uh, talked of our labor quarters. Any other item I can see here is what? I'm having not one, we do have bridge. Bridge, that is an IBD item, 1.2. Proceeding again, proceeding again to the same. <clears throat> we have uh, what excuse we have uh, note three not note three but note four sports pavilion sports pavilion sports pavilion my good students i'm given a figure format for sports pavilion i'm giving it ninety thousand and an additional staff quarters and an additional staff quarters here i was given a figure of how much 1.2 so after I've listed all these items for IBD, now we can proceed. I'll just, I'll work just copy and paste. I'll just copy and paste, right? So we start with the uh, go down. Go down, which I was given there in note number, I was given there, we are told that date of first use was 1st July. Date of first use was 1st July. And our financial year is ending on 31st December. So, if need be, count it with your finger. If need be, count it with your finger. Count it with your finger. Count it with your finger. We are talking of July, August, September, October, November, December. We are talking of how many months? Six months. So, therefore, in providing our IBD here, therefore, in providing our IBD, this is what we are going to do. We are going to have... 320,000, yes, by 10%, correct, but for how many months? For only 6 months, so by 6 over 12. We should be talking of how much? 16,000 here. Uh -huh. Come to labor quarters. Labor quarters, again, here we are told that the details that I was given here, note 1, the following assets are constructed, purchased, and utilized with effect from 1st July. So meaning that again, labor quarters, I'll be talking of six months. So talk of 920 labor quarters times 10% uh, times 6 over 12. We are talking of how much? 46,000. The same case with bridge, the same case with bridge, 1.2 times 0.1 times uh, 6 months, 6 over 12. So we should be talking of 60,000 here. Right? Then another uh, component, sports pavilion, which was in 04. The company constructed a sports pavilion and additional staff quarters during the year at the cost of 890 and 1.2 respectively. These structures were utilized from 1st October 2020. So it was utilized from 1st October. So start counting October, November, and December. How many months, my good student? Three months. So you are talking of 890 times 10%, okay? 
times three months times three months times three months we should be talking of twenty two thousand two hundred and fifty twenty two thousand two hundred and two hundred and fifty what about staff quarters 1.2 correct times 0.1 times 3 over 12 times 3 over 12 we should be talking of how much 30,000 so I have computed our IBD and that is what you are required to do the concept of Mr. Date will come handy will come very handy at this concept so in this case we are talking of 320 minus 16,000 to give us 304,000 920 minus 46 to give us 874,000 1.2 minus 60 to give us how much? 1140 1,140,000 890 minus 22 250 to give us how much 867 750 correct we have 1.2 minus 30 to give us 1,170,000 so having that case we are done with that what we need to conclude is the summation of all that so you are talking of 16,000 plus 46, my good students, plus 60, plus 22.250, plus 30. That should give me 174,250. So that is our IBD. And you are done with our IBD just like that. Proceed to proceed to WTA proceed to WTA looking at our WTA I believe you still recall the wear and tear allowance schedule WTA schedule so we'll have to prepare our WTA schedule we'll have to prepare our WTA we'll have to prepare our WTA schedule we'll have to prepare our WTA schedule and looking at our WTA schedule, I still have that belief that you still remember the format of WTA, whereby in this case we'll be talking of nature of the asset, nature of the asset here, nature of the asset, my good students. We'll be talking about class one. We will be talking about class 2. We will be talking about class 3. We will be talking about class 3. We will be talking about class 4. We will be talking about class 4 here. We will be talking about class 4. I will be talking about class 4. I believe that one is very visible. And at this point, very important for us to mark the rates. At this point, you know very well class 1 is 25%. Class 2, 25%. Class 3, 25%. 10% class 4. 10% class 4. In this case, you aren't given our written down value at, as at the beginning. So, we won't have that. In the event that probably was given written down value at start, we could have started with written down value at start of the period. At start. It's only that this time round we didn't have. We didn't have. Now, what about additions during the period? Looking at our additions during the period, looking at our additions during the period, so talk about our additions during the period. Additions during the period, what will we have? What will we have? We've already analyzed that question, so it will be very quick for us to work it out. I'm having like, uh, we, have a, we have a tractor, and tractor, remember we've said it is class one. Remember, you have that. I believe you've taken a screenshot of that. You've taken a screenshot of that question. So need of you no know, need of us to share that question again. So I'm having tractor, which you have 2.6, that is class one. We have uh, scanners class two. 
scanners class 2 scanners class 2 scanners we do have a, a figure given here of 320000 320,000. We have uh, saloon cars. Remember, my good students, saloon cars, these are non commercial vehicles. And being non commercial vehicles, they are restricted to 3 million. They are restricted to 3 million. So, any amount in excess of 3 million for each saloon car, I wouldn't consider it for capital allowance. That is under WTA. So on the saloon car, I can comfortably come and write here because the cost I was given seven million. So comfortably I can come and write here six million because it is three million for each saloon car. And in this case, I'm going to put R, showing that it is restricted. I'm going to put R, indicating that it is restricted. That it is restricted. Then on that case, we have a forklift. We have a mobile forklift. We have a forklift. Forklift, this is class 1. And class 1 forklift, I'm given a figure of 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 uh -huh. We have a computers. Initial computers, I was given a figure of 250,000, which you know very well that is a class 2. So, uh, Salunka, I'm supposed to write it under class 3, not class 2, sorry. This is a class 3. This is class 3. 6 million. 6 million. That is very suicidal. This is 6 million. R, right? We're having uh, computers. Computers, in this case, I was given a figure of 250,000. So computers I'm given 250,000, uh, 250,000 class uh, 2, 250,000, 250,000, 250,000, uh-huh, correct. Then I'm given uh, office cabinets, talk of uh, office cabinets, cabinets, office cabinets, that is a dustbin class. And dustbin class, you know very well, that is a class 4. Office cabinets, I'm given a figure of uh, 180,000. 180,000, right? Being our office cabinets. Then any other element for WTA that I was given. If you are to look at our notes, that is note number 3. Note number 3, what were we told in note number 3? Note 3, we are told that one of the computers traded in on 10th November 2020 for a new one costing 68. So an additional computer because of the virtue of trading. So additional computer, I'm having an additional computer of 68,000. But at the same time, we also had what? Disposal. 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 Of what? Disposal of our computer here. Disposal of the computer, a figure of how much? Trading value was how much? 40,000. That is a trading value was 40,000. So that is what I'm going to take as the disposal value. 40,000, which we have to deduct it there. So, determining our qualifying cost. Determining our qualifying cost, determining our qualifying cost, what will we have as our qualifying cost? So we need to work it out. We need to work it out. As simple as that. We need to, we need to work it out. So we are going to take uh, class 1. I should be talking of 2.6. Believing that Molim wasn't forgotten anything. 4.1. Plus to fifty thousand, plus sixty eight thousand, minus forty thousand, to give me five ninety eight thousand, to give us five ninety eight thousand. Then we have uh, six million here. Then we have one eighty thousand. Then having our qualifying cost like that, my good student. We can now proceed and determine our WTA. 
we can now proceed and determine our W3A. We can now proceed and determine our W3A. Our W3A. We can now proceed and determine our W3A. And how will we determine our W3A? We take our qualifying cost. We take our qualifying cost. We multiply by what? We multiply by the class rates that you are given there. So, allow me to copy this one here on top so that this is our qualifying cost. So, my qualifying cost, the first one you've seen is uh, 4.1, right? 598,000, correct? 6 million, correct? And 180,000, correct? So, that is our qualifying cost. So, therefore, my good students, our WTA, our WTA, this is how we are going to compute our WTA. This is how we are going to compute our WTA. So, my WTA, therefore, will be as follows. Like for class 1, class 1, I will be taking 4.1 times 25% to give me how much? 1,025,000. Remember, this one doesn't have the effect of time. 598,000 by 0.25 to give us 149,500. 6 million by 25% to give us 1.5. And 180,000 by 10% to give us 18,000. So what will be our total WTA? Plus 1.5, plus, uh, that is of course 1.5, plus uh, 149, 500, plus 25,000. That should give us a figure, a total WTA, total WTA, we should be talking of 2,692,000. That is our total WTA. Now, doing our summary, doing our summary, doing our summary, doing our summary here, doing our summary, we should be talking of ID. Which ID? We had it to be a figure of how much ID? We had it to be 6 million, 895,000. IBD, we had it to be 174. 250 and finally WTA we have it to be 2 million 500 and of course we determine the total and that total I can leave it for you guys to determine that total I can leave it for you guys to determine so this is what you are required to do in this question May 2021 question number four part B it was a very good question being tested under the new capital allowances. To that juncture, my good students, thank you so much, and let us meet in our next session. And if you wish to join MDRASA, just contact us on the number below this video, 0708-068-851, and we will assist you to always pass these papers on first attempt. We will always assist you to pass these papers on first attempt. Our classes are ongoing for August exams, so you can join as soon as today. Thank you so much, and let us meet in our next session. Thank you.